Hello, welcome back. Uh, I'm considering a scenario where I'm trying to plan my travel. Okay, and I am right now based out of this place called San Francisco, and I have a couple of cities in my mind. Maybe the first city I like to go to Dallas, or maybe I like to go to Chicago, or I like to go to Orlando. Okay, and also I'm a little, little bit flexible on my dates. Either I can go on third week of November or I can go on the second week of November. But what I care about is that out of this combinations, like, you know, from San Francisco to Chicago, San Francisco to Dallas, San Francisco to Orlando, these are three combinations, and then we have two kind of dates. So that means out of these six combinations of travel, I would like to go, I, I'll choose the, the, the date and also the city where the, the flight is cheapest. This is the origin city and this is the destination and let's say this is the date 1 and date 2 and then what we have is the price, okay, the cost of the flight, okay. So origin is San Francisco, destination is Dallas, so which is DFW and let's say date is second week of November and date 2 is, sorry, and, and, and sorry, date is second week of November and the price is, we need to compare, we need to find out. So, how do you find out? Essentially, you go to a website called orbis.com and then you put your uh, data here. Let's say choose flights only. And then what you do is just put your San Francisco to Chicago. And then what you do, you do search flights. And then it will basically, after some time, it's going to give you the details of the flight and also the cost of the flight. So, it looks like the cheapest flight to Chicago is 477.60. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, put that number here. So this cost is 477. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to repeat the same thing, SFO to Dallas for thought on the third week of November. And I'll get a number. Let's say that number is 521. Okay, similarly, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do for the other two cities. Okay, San Francisco to Chicago, San Francisco to Chicago for date number two, and also San Francisco to uh, Orlando, and San Francisco to Orlando for two dates. And also I'm going to compute this number six times. I'm going to orbis.com and put the data, okay, which origin, which destination, and I'm going to get the, the price details here. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose the cheapest flight out of here. So this is very manual, and boring job okay manual and boring job so and also imagine if i want to add some more combinations of data i like to go to a couple of more cities let's say i want to go to vancouver or i have one more city i like to go to new york city okay so i'll add a couple of combinations so in that case what i'm going to do i'm going to go to this orbis.com each time and maybe probably i'm going to do now uh, 6 plus 4, 10 more, 10 times, okay? And then I'll compute these things. I'll be probably going to get mad, okay? So this is not what I intend to do. So here's a question for you, your first project. Can you automate this process? Okay, you write some kind of robot. That robot is going to go to this, drive this browser, automate this browser, and put some data automatically. It's going to give you a number and that number is the lowest number that it finds after putting those data, okay? And that is the place that you're going to go, okay? So this is your first project. Can you automate this process? Thank you.